All right, we are the Vinyl Community Gunkles here again, and this time around we are going to review a Prince album from 2014 called Electric Rectum that Mike <laughs> has picked out. It's a little, usually the uh, albums are larger. This is a smaller one. Craig has <laughs> the big one. It's in your pocket. Craig's is bigger than Mike's. Because Craig's is more expensive. Yes. Mm-hmm. His electric rectum is three times the size. <laughs> I mean, Planet Erection. What's that thing called? Plectrum Electrum. But it's Plectrum Electrum. Because it's all together. It's one word. Plectrum Electrum. And it's Prince and Third Eye Girl. We are the Vinyl Community Gunkles. I'm Robert Fifth, and along with Mike from Hub Tunes, Craig's from Craig Vinyl Plethora. Craig's from Craig Vinyl Plethora. And yeah. ladies and gentlemen, the man who also wanted to change his name to just a symbol. Richard from Calvin Wazoo. Oh, you did now. What symbol was it? <laughs> it's, I don't know. How do you say a symbol? The itchy nose. <laughs> the sliding glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's to the fourth power. Um, <laughs> Wow. All right, so who is first reviewing this uh, album? That is, that is I. That's, that shall shall be I. So, yes, Plectrum Electrum with Prince and Third Eye Girl, 2014. Also, so released September 26th of 2014. The day after my birthday. Also released the same day as Prince's album, Art Official Age. They were released on the exact same day. Kind of a Guns uh, N' Roses, Bruce Springsteen kind of thing. Yeah, well... But it's the same artist releasing two albums. Well, so did Guns N' Roses and Bruce had the usual. Oh, they both did that? Oh, okay. I thought you were saying a Bruce Springsteen and a Guns N' Roses were released. Okay. Well, whatever. All right. Um, So, yeah, I hadn't listened to this in so long. And I actually bought both of them on the day of release. And I am a dumbass and got rid of Artificial Age. And now going back, I realize um, I really like that album. I That's the one you should have kept. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I really like this one. Um, so it starts out with, wow, you know, you can call it unexpected or you can call it wow. Um, these songs, they're all, the words are all for the titles are blended together. So it's Pretzel Body Logic, Ain't Turn Around, Plucked Around Electron, White Caps. Push your life up, you know. It's it, it's like what? Okay, um, so where am I going with this? I electrum, electrum, like the instrumental. I don't like that. It goes on for too long. It's yeah, I just it's too much for me. Um, yeah, yeah. I love, I love the song. Wow, <laughs> um, it's a great opener. The song White Caps is really, really great. Fix Your Life Up. Uh, Boy Trouble. I did not realize until I listened to this again that Boy Trouble is featuring Lizzo. Before we knew who the fuck Lizzo was, she's on a Prince record. And I'm like, obviously I didn't. I mean, I saw Lizzo. She was doing like a, she was in a band and I she opened for somebody. So before like, and I can't remember what they were called. And I don't know that they actually did an album. But I mean, I saw her years ago with some, they opened for Rilo Kylie. Um, So yeah, I cannot, it was her and some guy and some other girl. And it was more like electronic type shit. But Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, uh, but I was like, Lizzo is on the, and I don't know, there's some girl rapping that is all right. And the boy trouble, you know, we all got the boy troubles. Watch out, everybody. Yeah, watch out. That's right, we do. Troubles. <laughs> we have the boy troubles, especially, you know, the gays. We got it. We got it bad. Watch out for the boy troubles. Um, I love Stop This Train so much. Yeah. That song is so freaking fantastic. And um, Tic Tac Toe is probably my other favorite off of this. Also, Funk and Roll, which is the final track, is also on Artificial Age. So I'm like, okay, so not only release two records on the same day, then there's the same one same track on. um, Like Guns N' Roses and Don't Cry. Yeah, but they're alternate versions. These, if I'm remembering correctly, are exactly the same. But maybe I'm wrong because it's been a long time since I've heard Artificial Age. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's Prince. 
and it's one of the better of the newer ones you know it's it's not terrible there's some really great moments on here um the girls you know they play their instruments and they can shred and they got when they sing they got nice voices i mean they did this record with prince and we never ever i mean do does anybody know where they are because i don't um i know that i think i don't remember where these girls were from i looked it up and i forgot because you know i i, I have senior moments but um yeah i mean it's prince and this is what again this is one of the better of, of the newer records of prince i like it again i had not listened to it in so long i kind of almost forgot i had it um and i mean i'm very happy that i did that. yeah dumb ass dumb ass getting rid of artificial age because now if i want that again i gotta pay like 300 dollars for it and so um, this again, one's not cheap either no no um unfortunately there's some side splitting or scene splitting on this and um uh yeah but it's still i mean it's in pretty decent condition i i don't know how they get bad when it hasn't been played for like 10 years but you know, or nine i mean well it hasn't been 10 years since it came out but i i don't think i've listened to this since probably 2015. so um yeah so it's four rainbows for me i don't know that i gave much details or wonderment on this but it's prince and 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 these third eye girls who we don't know what happened to them i mean are they are they selling themselves on the corner now i mean i don't know what's oh, happening with you i mean i it's a question i'm not saying they're hookers but they could be and there's they nothing could. wrong with that some people need to make a living jesus get nothing wrong with work it. is yeah, work right. yeah nothing work works. is work jeez gosh oh craig Fuck. so yeah i mean you know it's a prince album um there's my review. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, you, you still have another bottle. You still got yeah, that. A whole new bottle. Yeah, um, yeah brand new. So, yeah, this was, uh, I don't know the other one at all that came out that same day, but uh, this, and I'd never heard this before. I remember when it came out and I always meant to listen to it and then just didn't. He seems to be like that. Like, he'll come out with something and I'll be like, oh, I want to check that out at one point, And then I never do. Uh, but it sounds like print. I mean, he, he's got the weird kind of things in some of the songs. He's got the silliness. It's the same thing that's been going on for quite a while. And that's the thing is his early albums used to be so different, you know, I yeah. mean, either for better or for worse. And then he just, he kind of like, he knows who he is. He's Prince. He knows what to expect. Mm -hmm. And they just, there it is. This was the, also um, the album that he re-signed uh, to Warner Brothers with. So um, I was thinking a little yeah. more accessible, maybe a little more, you know, a couple of singles possibilities on there, but I didn't really hear, I mean, and I definitely heard that, but I don't know that that really happened. So I didn't, I don't think it sold very well. I think it was supposed to be a major commercial comeback and it wasn't. I think he probably should have just released one album and put the best tracks on there. I'm not a fan. And then he started doing this with the new power generation and graffiti bridge album with that obnoxious i don't know if he was obnoxious he was annoying that annoying kid that came on there and it, that's kevin campbell to. yes with oh, round and round that song is brilliant oh my god that song's i'm not a fan of the new uh, i'm not a fan of the new generation i'm not a fan of these people coming in and doing a full song on a prince album is basically what i was going to say uh, um he hasn't really launched any successful people since the 80s when he was like sheila e Right. You know, or you could, I don't know if you'd call like Vanity successful. I mean, she had the two albums and so did Apollonia Six or whatever. But, you know, Sheila E was about it. Yeah. You know, um, all of these protégés and these side projects and this, you know, it worked when it was in the 80s and, the, you know, the time and Jesse Johnson's review and all that stuff. But in 2014, it's like Craig was saying, like, where are these Third Eye Girl? I mean, it's just, I'm not a fan of like listening to a Prince album. And then all of a sudden there's a song with some random person singing. And uh, so that happened. And um, the, the instrumental plectrum erectum, I, I liked it when Led Zeppelin did it too and called it the ocean. 
Um, but yeah, no. so um, I know that so <laughs> I would not know that. But yeah, it had what? some exciting oh, no. moments on there. The very first song, wow! I thought, you know, hey, this is going to mm-hmm. be. I can see this is a sign with a major label, and um, you know, expect some more accessible stuff. Not so much meandering or kind of uh, self-absorbed, uh, you know, uh, stuff. But yeah, you got some of that in there too. Kitty. And so uh, is that mine or yours? Uh, that's uh, oh, you were calling mine. Yeah. It's the cat yeah. that lives here. I no, I thought it was. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nobody owns no, this you cat. You serve it. <laughs> um, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll give it three rainbows. Okay, three. Richard. Richard. Plectrum Electrum, two thousand fourteen. Um, yeah, you know that first song. Wow was a while really really strong start um you know so just that song to me right there is a big five um and then uh the next the next song pretzel body logic or whatever (laughs) some some more you know more of that hard rock going on um and then that's when i started to me i kept thinking okay this sounds like a 1980s record style rock and roll like Def Leppard or Motley Crue but it's it's better than Def Leppard or Motley Crue kind of like Purple Rain really I mean like you know let's go crazy type yeah um, yes yeah yeah so they're yeah. really strong rockers in in uh and then as the album went on I mean overall um it's a album I might contemplate buying um if it was cheap um and yeah, so yeah, if it's not, then I'll probably never get it. Um, like, um, what is it? Ain't run, ain't running round. Yeah. Um, that had a very retro sound feel to it. Um, the guitar shred. I mean, yeah, it's Prince playing guitar. I mean, you know, and it's, it's, uh, you know, that's definitely the, of, of any of the songs, the highlight of the song is him playing, you know, guitar. Um, and the songs, I would say the songs where he is the lead vocalist are the better songs. Um, yeah. I, uh, uh, White Caps, um, it kind of grew on me the first time I listened to it. Um, I was kind of dismissive of it. I was also like that with Boy Trouble, but it, it grew on me. And, you know, with uh, uh, other listens, I, you know, um, I began to like it a lot more. This is going to sound tic-tac-toe. I'm, I'm sorry, Craig. I thought that song was very ponderous. Um, I, I really didn't like that song very much. I thought much. it was uh, politically incorrect. Yeah, there's, yeah. I thought so. I just, um, yeah. I just like the groove of it. It's just yeah. Yeah. The, uh, I guess I didn't pay attention enough to, because here's the other thing that happened. Um, every time, and I listened to this album um, three times, but each time I did, not three times in a row, but each time I did, you know, it's like during my work day, and it's usually um, I'll, I'll have some time to listen to it, like around two or three in the afternoon. And two or three in the afternoon, I tend to nod off. Oh, have a nap. And I really don't have very do. much recollection We're in our Stop 50s. This Train, no, um, Another Love, and I can barely remember Tic Tac Toe because when Mars comes on, that's usually when I woke up. Oh, so, um, you know, I would kind of go back and re-listen to them. So those those songs, you know, the songs before it and then the songs after, they made an impression on me. That part there, my mid-afternoon nap time overwhelmed me. And, and, and uh, I like funk and roll, you know, the closer. I like yeah. Mars. Um, but, um, uh, um, and like I say, a couple of those boy trouble and, and white caps, yeah, they, they, they got better with each listen each time I would, I would listen to it. Um, I'm gonna, the, uh, the actual title song though, uh, is a great, again, plectrum electrum, um, is a really great, ret- so to me, it's got this retro feel to it. You know, I was surprised it was 2014. 
It was like this is like this is 80s 1973 Led Zeppelin the Ocean. Yeah, yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> you know. But, oh, it then. <laughs> so um, it uh, um, the because of the songs that I really liked, like as I said, I would you know if it was cheap, and apparently it's not. You know, I would I would uh, I would get it. Uh, and add it to my collection. But yeah, if it's an expensive one, no, I'm not going to spend the money on it. Um, I enjoyed it. I liked listening to it. Um, it's not an album that I, um, you know, it's not an album I would put on and then just like do other things. I would listen to it. I would, I would pay attention to it. Um, so it's got that going for it. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I prefer the earlier prints um, to this later prints. The later prints is good, technically, extremely skilled, but not very innovative with the songwriting. I don't know. That's it's just it doesn't have the same um, the same you know the same plectrum electrum going on. That it know, doesn't that, sound like he has anything to prove. He just sounds yeah. very much in a comfort zone. Yeah, you know, he knows he's Prince. I'm gonna right. give you the Prince. Hey, yeah, no and prince he's album, definitely you know. comfortable in that zone, and he can certainly play. And yeah. as I said, of the, I mean, even with the weak songs, you know, when he's playing, um, that makes up for the weakness of the song. He's um, not challenging himself or his yeah. audience. Now, for and the he's girls, somebody who's known for doing that, you know, I I read someplace that with the girls that he had plans to do some other some other yeah, stuff were. with them. Oh, it, I it, bet. It, it never happened. Um, <laughs> I guess. Um, well, he kind of. Yeah. It was a couple of years later that he died, right? Yeah. He when died. did he die? Twenty sixteen. I don't. I don't remember. But oh, yeah, because this is twenty fourteen. Yeah. I was kind of surprised at, at the the lateness of the album. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to give it, uh, uh, I'm going to give it three and a half rainbows. Okay. So I've been, uh, I've considered picking this record. In 2016. Yep. 2016. Go ahead. Yep. I, I, I've been considering this record for a review for, since we've kind of been doing reviews, uh, it's an album that's always stuck with me. I have like. I don't know. There's something about Prince. When he's popular, I don't like him. But when he's kind of like in the lulls, I'm like, oh, he's doing really cool shit. And that's when I kind of get into his music. Like, I mean, obviously, I love Purple Rain. is one of the greatest albums. That's a five rainbow record. You know, and, and the couple before that. And even, you know, the early stuff with Controversy, really cool. But the later stuff, there's a lot I love. And that, like, I love the album Come. It's a great record. But then, like, that stuff with the new power generation, there's really not much of it I like. You know, and, and so I'm up, I'm up and down with Prince as an artist. And he's so prolific, you can do that. You know, I mean, it, there's so much music. You know, they just released, uh, what was it, Diamonds and Pearls. Mm -hmm. they, they reissued that. I don't like that record. But everyone he needs it. He needs a box set. Right? Right? He needs, like, four box sets. Yeah. But I mean, no, especially I, I take that, that later record. stuff and just pick the best stuff out and make a nice, yeah, you know, yeah, cohesive listen out of that, you know. I agree. So uh, when when this album came out in 2014, I was listening with I was living with my ex, and he was a huge Prince fan. Anything that came out, anything you know, mm. had to have it. Absolutely had to have it. And I was, you know, like I just described, I was up and down with Prince. You know, I like him and everything. You know, and this album came out, and he he played it for me, and I was like, holy crap, that is the guitar based record that i always wanted prince to make this album first of all these girls they can fucking play yeah they yeah. Can. she is an incredible drummer her drumming is excellent and the other one i should have wrote down their names i did not write down their names i'm sorry i'm not giving them enough credit but as far as a as uh -huh. bass and drum duo together that rhythm section is freaking awesome and he shreds over on every song. the The title track is wonderful. I absolutely love it. this This is the the guitar record I always wanted him to make. Um, 
there were plans for a tour. He never toured. There's a documentary about the making of this record. And it's really, really interesting. Uh, I don't know where it is or how you watch it, but I remember when it came out, it came out about a year after the making of the record. And it was really interesting. I don't know where he discovered them. He discovered them in a club somewhere. And um, I just, I've always really, really enjoyed this record. Maybe I'm weird. I, I, I like the, I like the Prince You're music. Better. Weird. Other people, well, I'm totally weird. Well, yeah. Um, their names are Donna, <laughs> Hannah, and Ida, but it, nowhere on here does it say who plays what. Yeah, but man, she she can yeah. pound those drums. She's unreal on the drums, and just they lay the 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 background perfectly for Prince to just fucking play guitar. And you know, honestly, you know, that's really what stands out for me on this record is his guitar work. You know, Wow is a great fucking mm -hmm. song. That's the highlight of the record. That and the title track. Uh, yeah, I I just I don't know. I, I've always really really enjoyed this record. Uh, they did fix your life up is really good too. Yeah, to yeah. I, I, there's not a song on here I really don't like, but you know, I, I'm more, I'm more into the instruments and the instrumentation and, and the groove and the more than the lyrics. Yeah, the lyrics on this mm, probably not Prince's best, but I, I, I just adore this record. I always have. Uh, my ex took my vinyl copy. <laughs> when he moved out Bitch. he took all the prince records no matter whose they were mine or his um and i wish i still had the vinyl because it is well over a hundred dollars now it's i think it's closer to two um uh, but yeah no it, it, i i've always enjoyed this record they did tour of course like every prince protege and i like them but they're better musicians than i don't know the time whatever the hell that was uh they 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 tore they oh please the time is good you mean the family i don't know <laughs> yeah the family oh, i don't i don't know good i but, saw Mor morris day came into the strip club that i worked at <laughs> oh and i wanted so bad to bring him a big ass mirror but the one that was in the back was literally screwed to the wall no <laughs> That would have been something walk up to Morris Day with a big ass mirror. <laughs> anyway, at the uh, after he did pass away, um, they did tour, and uh, I don't know how successful they were. I mean, after he passed away, everyone toured. Morris Day toured, yeah. Vanity toured, Apple. They all fucking toured, you know, to get a little bit of money. But yeah, yeah you know, I, I really enjoy this record. I, I think it's great. And, if I see it on vinyl, I'm going to grab it because I'd love to have it again. I, I never listen to CDs. I never listen to this. I'd rather I'd probably just stream it. It's got a cool. This is cool. It won't cost a hundred dollars for the CD, will it? Yeah. No, I have the CD. Maybe. No, it's like <laughs> the CD's like six bucks. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll pick up the CD then. Yeah, yeah there you go. Have I? I don't have a CD player. Oh, well, you don't. Oh. No, I don't. Okay, uh, uh, four rainbows. Four rainbows. So this is a 14 and a half rainbow album. <clears throat> no, 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 no. All right, so there you have it. Uh, Electric Rectum from Prince, and uh, Richard has the next. It's Plectrum Erection. God damn it. I mean, it's Plectrum <laughs> Electrum. Plectrum. Ple 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 Shut up. You know, there Richard, might be what, what you going to make me listen to? Richard, there give it. There might be viewers out there trying to find out what this is called, and they're Googling electric rectum right now. Uh-huh, or plectrum Ge erection. Geflect erection. Yeah. Plectrum e it, It'll be in the, you know, the, the description, the album's name. Geflect it'll be in the ein down deutsches below. Wort. Geflect. I can't believe you still have some of that left from last week. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Last a new bottle. Year. <laughs> oh, it's a new bottle. You bought two? It's a brand yeah. new bottle. He bought eight. It only he lasts bought. like four or five days. You can't. You have to drink it quickly. You mm, can't just say. leave it for, for a week. Does uh -huh. it grow bacteria? Yeah, I'm. I I'm waiting, so. anticipating for Richard to tell oh, me oh, what yes. he's next. I have the next record. Yeah, yes, get it going. Come on. Okay, this record is a two thousand. Uh, 23 
Oh, 2023. Great. Oh, you mean a record from last year? Ah, yes. yes. From last year. So, um, and it's it's one that I would have included, perhaps, maybe, you know, in the year end roundup. But I decided to save it, you know, for you guys. And the, oh, it's like you. Metallica. Oh, oh, that's all the is yellow. That Meta- that's Metallica. <laughs> it is. Uh, what is. The band is called Subsonic Eye. Subsonic. And, and the album is called All uh, Around You. All around. It's a band I'm from. I'm writing this down. It's a band from Singapore. Oh, they sing in English. Singapore, okay. They recently uh, toured the U.S. They played here in Chicago. Hello, Chicago. What's it called? I'm sorry. I'm writing the band or the all all around you. All around you. All around you, and the band is Subsonic High. Sonic High. Hi. 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 How you doing? (laughs) Gucci, Gucci. Oh, I'm Charo. I I saw a Charo record. I still regret not getting that. I freaking like, had her disco coochie coochie record with dance a little bit closer, and I freaking sold it. And now it's I like I never did see her movie never, called The Lonely <laughs> Lady or whatever, where she gets on stage at the end and she's like, "I'd like to personally thank everybody I fucked to get to the top." She's been in a movie called The Lonely Lady where she thinks people to fuck that I she. Think that's, or no, wait, that's Pia Zadora. Oh, <laughs> that sounds I, I get like them this. confused all the they, time. They yeah. are kind of twins, but yes. yeah. Mm. Dance a little bit closer. Is the door dead or alive? Dead, isn't she? No, is the door is not dead. Still on the, she's still on the love boat. Yes, with Charo. Okay, no. The she village can't. people were on the love boat. Everyone, I was the on Brady, the boat. The Bradys were on the. No, Love she's uh, still alive. She's only sixty-nine yeah. years old. Yeah, I was gonna. She is still Wait, alive. She's only sixty-nine. She's only. Sixty-nine. Is only sixty-nine. She is sixty-nine, 69 and divine. Wow. All God. right. So yeah, join us next time Thank for you, uh, supersonic suckers and uh, all around you. <laughs> no, it, it's a thing now. You got but... that one right. <laughs> you got that part right. <laughs> There's a band Sonic called the Super High. Suckers. I can't remember. It's yeah. Subsonic. Oh my god! I saw the Super Suckers in concert. Yeah, me too. At yeah. Cicero's. Yeah, I've seen them in a swamp. Yeah. What you well, see? I've them seen them in the restroom. So, um, oh, oh, you dirty ass people! That I have to. <laughs> I am this innocent little angel, and oh, I have yeah. all this yeah. vulgar, dirty stuff. <laughs> With your different conquests and, and your yeah. bathroom visits. Oh. Yeah, you're the, yeah, yeah, you're the yeah. 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 dick dick versus du es luchen. Zumadest der Kopf. Uh, see, Karen. <laughs> okay. Happy no, New Year, not, everyone. Not, yeah, it's a new year now. Welcome to 2020, 24. Oh. What the? 2024. 20, okay, hi, you're Robert Fitton. Along with Richard and Calvin Wazoo, Craig's vinyl plethora, <laughs> and Mike at Hubtoons. Uh, coming up, we'll review the tops and bottoms of 1997. We'll see you then, or you we actually, will. you'll see us. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs>